Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my content. If you love my videos, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you never miss another walk around video. All right, today I am at the Hershey show in Pennsylvania. It's one of the largest RV shows in the country. And I'm super excited because we've got the new Integra Arc. This is their smallest class B on the Dodge Ram chassis sitting at 17 feet and 10 inches. I think it's great. I think we people have been asking for something under 20 feet. You know, everybody loves the Integra ethos. But um, some people have been asking like, I really want to be under that everybody else has that 19 foot model. Gabby, when are, when are you going to come out? with that 19 foot 18 foot model and here she is so let's check it out all right so here's the first glimpse at the integra arc super cute little dodge ram chassis unit absolutely love it you know it's pretty standard look to everybody else's on the market out here but you do have um active brake assist so the collision mitigation feature which is awesome um you've got this nice awning which it is electric thankfully i don't have to crank it open you've got some little legs in there so those legs you can either put on the ground, you can also attach them to, if you ever see these vans and you're wondering what this little box is, uh, you can clip the legs to there to have the awning a little more angled for you. Pretty decent sized step to step up into the coach. And then right here is our amazing show special price right now, 96,176. But uh, you can see that you've got the Ram Pro Master 1500, the Onan 2800 watt generator. You have the forward collision warning with the active braking. You've got a portable induction cooktop on this one, and then you've got your AquaView shower miser. So those are just some of the features. Now, if I close this door, you've got a 110 outlet right here on the Arc, and that could, you could plug in a mini fridge out here, you could plug in a little TV out here, whatever you wanna set up at your campsite. Coming around the back, this model has a similar rear bathroom to their 20T Ethos. So it's a rear bath. I love these bathrooms because you have the uh, plenty of space for the toilet to like stretch out your legs. The sink is gonna be behind the toilet. When we walk inside and I actually step up into it, I will show you that. But you have the shower miser on board right here. If you're wondering what that is, please go see my other video about the Aquaview shower miser under uh, Feature and Benefit Fridays. Lot nice, lots of cabinets in here, but then you do have that um, shower curtain for protection from the water. And then these are magnetic privacy curtains. So you can pull these open if you want more light. You have a toilet paper holder here, and then you've got your little, little attachments there for a little bit more storage. Now there is a spray port here. It's probably gonna be cold water. And, oh, this will trigger the light up there. You do have a backup camera on this one. It's a pretty wide camera, so you can clearly see everything that's behind you on this nice big dash in the front. When we get up there, I'll show you. And then the Dodge Ram chassis really, this one is rated for 5,100 pounds and it has a 510 ton capacity. The thing is, most of these vans are rated for 3,500 pounds. So I really don't know where Integra got those specs. If you wanna pull something that heavy with this, keep in mind it is still the same Dodge Ram chassis as everybody else who has it D-rated to 3,500. So uh, not sure about that one. I was excited here, guys. I didn't see a little, you know, five, um, five gallon black tank on this side. So I was like, oh, we don't have it. That's awesome. It's kind of like the new Airstream Class B range line where you can actually dump it. No, no, no. Okay, they've hidden it. If you come back here, it's in it's inside here so if you're not familiar with this system and i can't really do this one-handed but uh there is hold on a second all right so this is the system for the black tank okay keep in mind this is most class b so you just got to get used to this but this is basically a, like a suitcase honestly truly it's like a suitcase you drop it down to the ground it's five gallons uh, that is your like that is the mechanism that will automatically close from the toilet when you pull it out and then it has a little handle this is hysterical so this is your handle <laughs> i'm like it's literally a suitcase oh i'm just dumping my crap 
But yeah, so that's the only thing that some people really don't like on the class B's is this little system set up. And honestly, not I don't like the idea of it, but if it's the only way you're gonna get an under 18 foot van that you can actually live in and stay in and camp in, that's what you gotta deal with. So we're just gonna push that in right there. And that is your toilet setup for the black tank. You do have a freshwater tank and a gray water tank. I will put the in the show notes down below what the size of those tanks are. Now back to the hookup side. Again, the ARC logo right here, nice and clean. You have a light on the side. I think there's probably, cause if you come into the campsite late and you wanna hook up your city water connection, there's a little light there to help you see. It is a 30 amp service. And then your fuel fill is going to be right inside the driver's door. Just pop this open there and there's your fuel tank. Now, stepping inside the front of the Ark, and I actually haven't even sat in this thing yet. So this is our first time going through it together. I love these Dodge Ram chassis. I think they're super comfortable. I'm a fan of these seats. They're different from everybody else's. A lot of people are doing the uh, faux leather, like pleather material. I mean, it's comfortable and soft, but this is a nice cloth. It's dark. So if you get in here and you're a little dirty from the beach or whatnot, you're not really going to ruin the seats. Now, I don't think I can even turn this on because I don't have my key with me, but digital dash. So that's huge for 24. I know Dodger Ram was working on that. And then you've got this nice big screen. And so your backup camera is going to show up on that screen, which is excellent. You've got a wireless charger here, guys, for your phone, which I absolutely love. So just pop your phone right in there. It can charge. And then you should have all of that good stuff to hook up your phone, like your CarPlay, to be able to run your maps and things like that. You do get one year membership with your purchase of the Arc. Uh, you get a year of road pass, which includes park reviews, free camping, cell coverage. Um, you can plan trips and RV specific GPS navigation. Now what's neat about this is they're gonna give this to you from Integra. We're also gonna give this to you when you purchase from Blue Compass. We have an app, it's called RV Complete, and we give you a year of roadside. Oh, I'll put that down right there. Year of roadside, year of technical, um, 14 days of camping with thousand trails and lots of other goodies in that package. Um, so definitely check out my other videos for more information on that stuff. Okay. All right, so this is a view of the Ark standing directly behind the chairs. And then if I walk back, I mean, I really have like five feet to walk, like actual five steps and I'm five two. And then this is the view from the other side. So we have the seats that swivel around, which is excellent. It looks like you've got a removable table here. That's what that little metal bracket is. So you've got an attachment. So you have a workstation here. Behind me is gonna be a seat that you can actually sit in comfortably. What's great is that you've got a TV that's actually gonna pull out. So you unlock it, slide it out, and then slide it down. Look at that, one-handed guys. And uh, it is a Jensen TV. Do not see anything about being smart, so I'm not positive about that. But you can sit right there, watch TV going down the road, and then you've got a place to actually sit comfortably. You, you don't have to sit across this couch and kind of look at it from an angle love that they still have the open the door the window <sighs> it's early the window that will open for you so you actually get a nice cross breeze in here and then your kitchen's actually on the right side you do have plenty of drawers and storage i like these little buttons that they put in here so maybe silverware here and then you start getting the deeper drawers for your plates and your bowls and all that all that other stuff maybe the bottom drawers for fido and all of his gear and right here you have a place that you could actually, there's your water filter, and you actually have a place that you could fit your garbage can, which is great. Okay, sink is fairly big. I like that considering the fact that your only other sink on board is going to be this one right here. As I was saying, I would step back in the bathroom and show you. So that is your sink setup in the rear bath. And then, good morning. There's a little bit of storage here for your medicine cabinet. So. That is the setup back there. Behind the kitchen, or I'm sorry, behind the chair, which is across from the kitchen, is your high point microwave. All right, so small little popcorn microwave there. And then you've got your fridge here with a freezer. And this is an electric fridge. 
Now, you're not going to have any crazy lithium battery system. You're not going to have any wild um, solar setup, you know, but the ARC will definitely do its job. The generator probably runs off of the gas tank. It will stop at a quarter tank if you are running out of gas, but that should be sufficient to get you through the weekend somewhere um, if you're running things in the, in the coach and you want to be able to kind of go off off grid, as they say. Lots of cabinets up top. Let's see what the storage is like. Okay, all right, so you've got some carpeted storage up there for noise reduction so it's not shaking all around. They're all, um, these two are connected, and then those two are connected. There is a wall between them. And then there's another one here behind your, your console. Looks like you do have a solar panel on board, and then you do have an inverter. Probably for your outlets. And then your controls for your AC and heat are right here. And that's pretty much it for the ARC. Really cute unit. If I've missed anything, maybe I'll come back later and mention it. But I think overall it's 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 a class B to join the market, but it is built by Integra. So if you love Integra, you love their two-year warranty, you love their build, their customer service, and you want a class B, but hey, I don't want to spend 160 something for the you know, the lithium crazy four wheel drive Mercedes package, or hey, I wanna be able to get it serviced at more locations for Dodge Ram, then this would definitely be the option for you. Oh, we almost forgot the bed, let's check that out. Okay, so this is the bed all set up. It looks like you have to be a little bit on the shorter side to fit into it. Hang on, let's see if I can set up my camera and show you like me sitting on the bed. Okay, all right, so I'm 5'2". And if I'm laying in this across, like, feet towards you, I can fit this way, but, yeah, there's no way. Like, straight, you really got to cuddle on this one, guys, because my feet are here, and that's it. I mean, I, I can't even lay down. Um, potentially this way. Where are my feet gonna go? Well, <laughs> that's the bed and that's the ark. And thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, happy camping. <laughs>